to offer the Chase version next in the SO7 Chase Qualifier. Leg 7, and it's two and a quarter miles again, the same as the hurdle, and 0 to 110 as well. So the top one is Pat Lamb for Thomas Rogers, Paul Gunnapin for Darren Thompson, and a Rigby for Martin Leedham, Rose Neath, Nina, Daniel French, Force 10, Craig Beckwith, One Master, David Hooley, The Red Baron, Joshua Sutherland, Port Elizabeth, Paul Rhodes, Baron Scroop for James Shea, Merchants Hill for Graham Clisabok, Ignatiev Kalanisi for James Shea, and Red Flag Day for Leon Van Rensburg. So 12 this time, and called in, and away they go. And it's Paul Gallopin, and it's galloping off into the lead. And on this near side, and Rigby is also close up, and so too on the far side is Ignatiev Kalanisi, but they make their way towards the first of the 14 fences then, and Ignatiev Kalanisi was the one who got over it in the lead. The second place was Paul Gallopin, virtually galloped straight through it. But the jockey remained in the plate, Plenty of time to get back settled as they get to this huge looking ditch and over that one they all go, they all got over it nicely although most of them went through it. It must be pretty soft but it's Ignatiev Karnisi in the lead at this plain one and they all get over that one as well, slow jump there by the grey one master but it's Ignatiev Karnisi who's in front from Paul Gallopin who's in second and Rosneath Nina is third ahead of Force 10 on its outside in fourth. Little gap then to it under Rigby as they take that ditch and there's a fall on there, Baron Scroop has gone. So Baron Scroop departs the race. Pretty sure that's stable companion of the leader, but Ignatiev Kalanisi is that leader and leads by four lengths to Rosen Nina in second and Paul Gallup in third. Force 10 is in fourth and Eleanor Rigby back in fifth. That one's already taken one of these qualifiers with Port Elizabeth behind that one and then red flag there as they take number five and a bit of a mistake there by Pierre Clam but got away with it and one master is out of shot as they take this plain one and a bit of a bad jump there by red flag there as well Leon Van Rensburg doesn't have too many runners in these starters orders qualifiers but one didn't jump that one too well as they get over number seven and they're all over that one okay as well as they caught them past the stand then they've got a complete circuit of the Taunton track to go, pretty tight track this one, and Ignatiev Kalanisi will lead them past the winning post for the first time, with Rosneath Nina in second and Paul Gallopin in third, then a gap of a good three or four lengths to Force 10 in fourth, then Eleanor Rigby, the dark horse on the inside, then grey is Port Elizabeth, right over widest on the track is Merchants Hill, with in between them, red flag day and just in shot, there is the Red Baron, Joshua Sutherland. So, with some of the big trainers managing to get horses into these starters orders qualifiers this season with the auto handicapping system. So, over number eight we go, and a mistake there by Paul Gallopin in third. And it's Ignatiev Kalanisi is in front by a couple of lengths to Roseneath Nina and Paul Gallopin and Eleanor Rigby with Red Flag Day next as they come to this ditch all over that one as well and good jumps and one or two of them there starting to move into position to make their challenge but it's Ignatiev Kalanisi who still leads over the 10th and they're really beginning to bunch now that leading group one master the grey trying to run on from the back the red baron's gonna have to get going soon if he's going to get into the into the shake-up but it's still Ignatiev Kalanisi over this ditch that's number 11 now joined by Eleanor Rigby in second then comes Paul Elizabeth and Red Flag Day and then Force 10 and Paul Gallop in Roseneath Nina is next and then one master and the Red Baron trying to run on with Peck Lamb Merchants Hill the back marker as they swing right-handed now and they'll be making their way towards home in a minute they've only got a couple more to take and it's Ignatiev Kalanisi in the lead from Paul Elizabeth and Eleanor Rigby is between the two then one master really coming into it on the outside of Red Flag Day this is the third last over it they're going Alan and Rigby landed just in the lead from Ignatiev Kalanisi second Paul Elizabeth is back in third over the second last and it's Alan and Rigby in front from Ignatiev Kalanisi back in third is Paul Elizabeth Paul Galloping trying to run on so two's one muscle they're coming out towards the final fence then there and Alan and Rigby stood off it and made a mistake and he's now about to be challenged by Ignatiev Kalanisi and Paul Elizabeth again but it's Alan and Rigby still in the lead in the final half furlong Alan and Rigby here comes red flag down the outside Alan and Rigby needs a line and then Rigby's just in front and Alan and Rigby Beyond one and takes it. Red flag day is second. Port Elizabeth was third. And the field trailed back to I think it may well have been Pet Lamber was last. But it was Eleanor Rigby who did her best to throw it away at the last. 
but has hung on to take her second qualifier of the season. Eleanor Rigby, the winner for Martin Leedham. Red flag day for Leon Van Rensburg was second. Port Elizabeth for Paul Rhodes was third. Ignatiev Kalanisi for James Shea was fourth. And Paul Gallopin for Darren Thompson was fifth.